New merch. It dropped. Available now wherever TKOR shirts are sold, which is in one place. Please click the link in the description. Here goes Grace with her TikTok dances again. In today's video, we're going to be making the oh-so-famous TikTok cloud bread. I saw this on TikTok, cloud bread. Me being a meteorologist, I am obsessed with clouds and all things weather. So I was like, we have to make it. So we were just gonna tackle it. I wanted to make a huge loaf of cloud bread. Cause like normally it's the size of your hands, fits in your hands, you break it apart, whatever. No, 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 no. We are creating a convective cloud bread. What are they like the, the thin streaky ones called? Oh, those are stratus. Stratus? Stratus and Cirrus, I love all of those. I love the super high streaky clouds because they are actually all made of ice, if you did not know that. Really? So fun fact, up in our upper atmosphere, it is actually snowing during the summertime. As the snow falls, it turns into water and then it becomes rain. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. cool. Do you know what Nimbus means? I want to say flexible. No, I don't, I don't know where he's going, what he's doing. I guess he's going to get a broom so he can be. So nimbus actually means rain bearing. So whenever we say cumulo nimbus, it means that the cloud is now producing rain. So you have okay. your cumulus clouds, which are the fun little puffy ones that make the fun little characters that you're like, like oh look, a dinosaur, a bunny. Yeah. All kinds of fun stuff. But once they start producing rain and you see the rain streaks falling out from the sky, it is actually a cumulonimbus cloud at that point, whether the rain reaches the ground or not. Interesting. So what's the recipe? We got, uh, we got egg whites, we got vanilla, cornstarch, sugar. Sugar. And a bunch of fancy colors. Yes, a bunch of fancy dye. colors. So this recipe is incredibly simple. You mm -hmm. can do this at home with parental supervision or with their help. So we're gonna start with nine teaspoons, tablespoons, not teaspoons, tablespoons of egg whites. Egg whites. Great, we finished that one. So do we go ahead and just you use the rest more? of our liquid egg and see what happens? I don't think we have more anything to lose. I want a okay. huge, huge cloud. Honestly, the way I'm thinking about this is I just want it to pick up this whole entire pan that we have right here, be a giant and fluffy, mm. and for it to live its best life. Five, six. It's a lot of egg whites, guys. It's a lot of protein. Blah, 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 blah. We should just call this protein bread. What up, bro? <laughs> Two and a half teaspoons of cornstarch times 12, so it's 30 teaspoons. 30 times. Um, I'm gonna let you take care of that. That's a lot of scooping. I'm just gonna eat it. Juan. Grace makes it. Did we have to whip these first, or did we put it all together? I'm just curious. We missed a step. We have to whip our eggs into a nice foamy texture. We need the air for the clouds. Oh, the air. Looking All right, good. so we put one scoop in before one we scoop. read the instructions. So we need 29 more. Two, three. That was a one. Four. Okay, that is one. <laughs> Five. Okay, so let's check this out. It actually looks like a cloud It already. really does. Like the foam. I think that's really neat looking. We're getting foamy. All right, now we need to add our sugar. All right, the recipe sugar. calls for two and a half tablespoons of white sugar. Two and a half times 12 is just shy of two cups. Now I know why my mom and sister never let me cook because I don't know how to measure things accurately. It says just a drop or two of vanilla. Drop her in. So I'm just gonna do a little bit here. Okay. <laughs> it's like a tablespoon of vanilla, <laughs> which is probably on par for the recipe that we're doing. Yep. And now we mix. It did expand 
a lot more than I was expecting. I know it's not gonna expand when we put it in the oven, but I did know it was going to expand when we introduced air to it. That same process happens in our atmosphere when we get those really strong convective updrafts. Once those happen inside our cells, they begin to grow and expand and they get that super strong power when we introduce warm air to them. So we didn't introduce warm air here, but we introduced some air. And because of that, we need a new bowl. All right, you guys, I have been whipping these for 40 minutes, 50 minutes. Is it good? That's really good. It's been 50 minutes. So because we 12th, we multiplied it by 12, um, 12 the recipe, it took a lot longer and it expanded enough into three bowls. <laughs> so lot. what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this, we're gonna plop it in, and then we're gonna add colors to all of these. I wonder if this is the biggest cloud bread that's been made. Guinness. Let us Get know. Get at us. So what I was thinking is we should encase the outside of it in white just because I think it's gonna give it that like, that fun texture and look like a cloud. Fun look, and then when we break it open, it's like, whoa, color. Yeah. Sure. Ooh. I think we gotta get this thing in the oven. Oh, yeah. The colors are bleeding. You can see the yeah. blue and yellow is actually making green. Guys, so as we were like doing this, I realized our meringue is like melting. We gotta make it fast. Here, let me hold this. Thank you. Get in. I was struggling. Trying to get our white cloud base here. Too there much. it is. Yeah. I'm calling it. All right. We gotta get this bad boy in the oven. It's melting fast. I wish we would have had a little bit of a fluffier texture. I, I literally sat there at the meringue for an hour. I think it just got a little too mm -hmm. hot. All right, you guys, it has been cooking for about an hour now. The color is fantastic. You know, it doesn't look very loud-like, but. It does smell nice. I will say that. Wow. You just like totally compressed half of that side. I did, I did, but you know. So I said we cut into it, what do you think? Almost smells a little bit like a cupcake. Yeah, we can do Very it. Do we want to so. get a pizza cutter? Yes, that's hot. Whoa. Oh. That's interesting. It looks like a nebula. That does look Dang. cool. This is the top layer. This is not the whole like floofiness. Um, ours kind of flattened itself out. Like we talked about, our meringue got hot, but. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a fork. You guys, I don't know what the hype about this is on TikTok because it tastes like egg. Tastes like it egg. It literally tastes like straight egg with a little bit of sugar in it. Here's a slice of cloud bread right there. I can't I would... say we fully succeeded. No, it's not floofy, but I can fold it like this. Very dry <laughs> on the outside. And it does just taste kind of like an omelet. Mm -hmm. It's not sugary at all to me. We made art. We really did. Guys, if there's anything else you want to see us do with TikTok myths or TikTok projects, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to do some myth busting and potentially even make some more food off TikTok. Hey friends, if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there and we will see you next time.